Okay, so here's the, uh, the sixth page out of our binder, uh, which is all about electron configurations. Okay, so uh, we're going to be using the periodic table to help us out here, since this is a, uh, a big, big part of uh, going forward in chemistry. Okay, so what we want to do, we're going to take a look at copper, we're going to find it on the periodic table. It's right here. So what we're going to do is build up to copper, one electron at a time. So, take a look. The first electron of anything has got to go into an orbit or an orbital that would make it look like hydrogen, which is in the first energy level, and it's over here in the S block. Okay, so copper would start off 1s. Okay, well, we've got a lot more electrons than can fit in the 1s. We've got 29 electrons. We can only fit two into the 1s, but let's see what comes after. We go to the th uh, set third electron. It's in the second energy level, still in the S block, so we'd be second energy level, S block. Two more electrons would get us up number total number, yeah, to total number four, which would look like beryllium. The fifth electron has got to go into another orbital on the second energy level, but this time we're in the P block. So we go up to P, 2P, and to fill the 2P, we'd need one, two, three, four, five, six electrons. After the 2P, we keep going. We got our next electron is going to go into the 3s with two of those. Jump across here. Now also third energy level, but p block. Okay, so we have 3p6. After the 3p, our 19th electron would add to make it look like potassium. So that's a 4s12. Next, we got to get up to copper. Well, thankfully it's in the d block, but we know we got to be careful about the d block. Okay. The D block is one energy level behind. So if we got here from 4S, we need to be at 3D. Okay? Copper is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 into the D block. Now, I'm going to put a star next to this one because while this is technically correct, it isn't the way the cop that copper actually exists in real life. And that's something we're going to talk about in class in a little bit. It's one of the exceptions that we'll see. Now, let's go ahead and move on quickly since we've already got the idea. Iodine, down here, we're going to have to build up all the way to 53 electrons. Okay, so what we're going to do is basically we already know that everything up here looks like copper. Okay, we know up to 29 it looks like copper. So we can basically just copy all of that to make it now up to a 3D 3D10 would make it look like zinc. And after zinc, let's go ahead and add some more. Gallium is into the 4 fourth energy level, P block. So 4P, six more electrons would get us up to here looking like kryptonite. The 37th electron would go us to here, rubidium and then strontium would both be in the 5s, that's 2. We're back into the d block for some more. Okay, we also know that 4d, since we're one energy level back, 10 of those electrons gets us up to here, cadmium. Okay, now since iodine's right here, it's in the fifth level, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of the p block, it's going to end at a 5p, and it's also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 electrons into the p block. So iodine would look the same as copper up to this point, and then finish 3d10, 4p6, 5s2, 4d10, 5p5. Okay. Potassium, a little bit more straightforward. We know it's going to end in the fourth energy level, s block, first column. So we know it's going to end with 4s1. So we just go right out, write down everything that comes up to it. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1. Number four is bismuth, and that will take a really, really, really long time. So we're just going to give you the noble gas abbreviation on this one. Still expect you to try the unabbreviated one as you're doing this for homework, but we'll give you the idea. So bismuth is here, number 83. Okay? To get the noble gas abbreviation, we're going to go backwards to xenon. Okay, go backwards all the way until we hit that guy. That takes care of 54 electrons. Takes care of 54 electrons. The 55th and 56th are down here, 6th row S block. So that takes us up to 6S2. Now, everything jumps down here. Everything jumps to, oops, excuse me, you can't see that. 
everything jumps down into this section of the periodic table. This is something special. This is known as the F block. The order will go 6s, 4f, and we can count. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 electrons in the F orbitals. So 4f, 14, would be what comes after the 6s. 4f, 14. Next, we just need to get our, get our way all the way up to, uh, up to bismuth here. <coughs> after the 4f, we're back into the d block. Remember, 6s, 4f, and then 5d. All 10 of the 5d, and then we have 1, 2, 3 at the 6p. So 6p3. We'll go ahead and give you a couple of the more, uh, a couple of the abbreviated uh, electron configurations for these. We'll leave the rest as a uh, as an exercise. So let's look at how about iridium. Okay, so iridium is here number 77. Go backwards and we hit xenon. Okay, so again, iridium will look like xenon. It will have a xenon core. Tack on some more electrons to xenon. We come over here. The 55th and 56th electrons have got to go into the 6s. And then we jump down. We finish the 4f14. Then we come back 5d, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 5d7. Something a little bit more straightforward would be something like chlorine, where its noble gas is neon. You go back until you hit neon, so it's got a neon core. Add some more electrons till we get to chlorine. Here, the 3s, third row, s block, two of them, gets it up to looking like magnesium. We still need to add a few more. So here we are, third, block, third row, p block, and now we add one, two, three, four, five electrons. Nobelium is the last one we'll do here. Uh, we'll leave the rest of this as, a, uh, as an exercise for you guys. So nobelium is down here in the f block. Not only that, it's in the 5F block. So let's go all the way back. And we end up at radon. Add some more electrons to radon. That's 86. 87 and 88 go to radium. Okay, 1, 2. So that's the 7S. Now, here's where things get a little bit tricky. Nobelium isn't all the way through the F block. And if we look at actinium, we see, hey, look at that. It's in the D block. We expect this thing to go 6d1 before it jumps down and starts going into the 5f. And that's exactly what happens. So this thing will look like 6d1, 5f, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 5f, 13. Now, I'm going to put another little star next to this thing because that's not exactly the way it works in reality. But for now, this is good enough for us. I'll leave the other two as a... Uh, as a way for you to figure it out. Now, coming up to look at the, uh, at the remaining questions here. What we've got to do, the following electron configurations belong to which elements? 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. Well, we could do this a couple ways. We could count up all of these, or we can just say, hey, look, it ends at 3s1. It ends at 3s1. So we're going to find the third row, the s block, that's this one, and it's the first column. So, S block, first column, third row, sodium. And if we count up our electrons, we have 2 plus 4, excuse me, 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 1 is 11, which indeed means this is sodium. Try the same trick here. This ends in 4D6. So the D block, D block is here in the middle. 4D means we're at the fifth energy level. And 4d6 means we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ruthenium. Ru. So we have ruthenium. Number 13 ends in 4d10. So back to the 4d block. Here's 4d. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We end up with cadmium. Okay. So. And that shouldn't be C-A-D-I-M-I-U-M, C-A-D-M-I-U-M. The last two here, 6P2. So we find the sixth energy level. 
find the sixth energy level here, cut across the P block, and count in one, two. Lead. Finally, something that ends in 64. 64 means we're dealing with the seventh energy level. Here's D1, D2, D3, D4, Seaborgium. Okay. As far as these determining if they are correct or not, my guidance to you is do they follow the rules? In number 16, we go 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 4d10. That's a problem, and I'll let you figure out why. Instead of going 4s, 4d, we should go 4s, some other number d. Okay. I'll leave the rest for you. Use your notes uh, from the other, uh, excuse me, should actually be on the, uh, on the front of page 6. Excuse me, front of page 7. Front of page 7, all of your notes should explain which ones of these are correct and which ones are not. I hope this helped.